Hey, and welcome back to A Link Between Worlds here on a Hidden Triforce. In this episode, we're going to explore a dark palace, which is one of my personal favorites in this game. It's a real creepy kind of dungeon. Um, as you can imagine, it's pretty dark in here, so we're going to be using the lamp quite a bit and uh, maybe some fire rod. So first thing we're going to do is, uh, well, besides light that torch that we just lit, it's, it's out now. It's already out. We're going to blow up this wall with a bomb, a rented bomb. And we're going to get ourselves rupees, five rupees. I can't believe I wasted a rented bomb on five rupees. And now I'm off the cliff. So I don't even know what's in there. I can't even see. So, um, yeah, that's kind of the theme that we got going on here. We got ourselves a lot of darkness, a lot of dark corridors, um, gaps in the floor that we're going to be falling in. Let's just go ahead and light everything that we see just for funsies. Why not? We got unlimited magic power. So, um, there we go. That's the stuff get ourselves a moving platform nope we gotta shoot it so we gotta get this thing going so let's uh put this bomb here and then run make a dash for it this level sort of i don't know why but this level gives me this re weird little um circus vibe weird creepy circus vibe not really sure why um but what we've got going on here is um we got these two eyeballs I guess one of them is lit, the other one is not. This one is lit right here. And what we need to do, um, well, took me a second to realize this. But what we need to do is throw a bomb up there. And I'm just walking back and forth and kind of like, oh, I'm stuck here. I'm an idiot. And I'm going to try and blow this up. Maybe I'll get the point eventually. Um, commit some suicide. Still up there, so... Um, Apparently, I'm going to, what I really hate about that item is that you can't do anything with it. The rented tornado is like, just takes you straight up. You can't go sideways or anything like that. It's really dumb. And, and um, yeah, let's use this hint ghost, see what he's got to say. Um, now that I'm actually watching myself play this, I'm like, I cannot believe I was that stupid where I could not see this window up top that was just so blatantly ready to be uh, broken open. And then I had to use a play coin and talk to this hint ghost and be like, oh, duh, I'm stupid. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, toss this guy up there. That was easy. That didn't just take, uh, what, two and a half minutes, something like that. <laughs> three minutes, maybe, almost three minutes. And I'm in another dark room, can't see a thing going on in this room. I'm just going to try and just uh, walk around and swing my sword and hopefully that will keep everything from hitting me um if you use your fire rod that will kind of light things up briefly for you so you see what's going on just long enough for you to see what's going on um i like how there's a spotlight on the um key there and we're gonna blow these up see what happens it's going to create a well it's lighting something up now we're going to follow this creepy path on the wall over here all the way around to get ourselves a falling off the cliff because I didn't have enough magic. So let's try that. Take two. I'm doing stupendous so far. Oh. Let's see what's right near. Small key. Okay. So I'm on fire now. I've only like been dumb like six times. Let's see what's right here. Um, nothing of importance some more items that we can use to craft other things that we're never going to actually do though and now that's where up oh, that's where I just was so it's all be beginning to make sense so we can piece things together and work our way into more darkness and more just kind of I'm just going to be spamming the hell out of the fire rod because I really just cannot see at all and um, see what happens but yeah this reminds me of an evil circus for whatever reason kind of because of all the colors, I suppose, when it is lit up, it's got a lot of colors. Um, let's try and do this this way so I don't end up catching myself on fire. And every time you see one of these little bombed floors, just drop a bomb on it, or cracked floors, that is. And it normally will create a little shortcut or something of the sorts. Um, trying to decide if I should go down there now. Look how weird that is in the dark. It looks like I should. It looks very trippy. Eh. <laughs> I like this view. I'm just kind of hanging out there with waves of darkness going around me. That was emo. That was so emo. Let's drop. 
made a good decision. Got myself a small key. Um, looks like there is a ghost there. I don't know if he's on the same floor as me. I guess he might be not. Wait. Not sure what's going on. But when the room is dark, I like that you can see, um, it kind of looked like a, well, you can see kind of like the boss, um, the overall outline of the boss there on the wall just a second ago. But we're going to go ahead and get back over here, get a small key, and hopefully this guy doesn't knock me off a cliff. Maybe I can knock him off. No, he's going to knock me off. What a dick. Now I spawned there in front of him, and he's still being a dick, so let's just run away. Um... There's actually a lot of areas in this dungeon where we're going to have this conflicting light and dark where when it's dark you can see the floor, but when it's light you can't see the floor. Um, it's kind of a weird little mixture and it's definitely, this is one of my, I guess this could be one of my favorite dungeons in the game because it is very, very unique. Um, oh, there's the boss chamber and we already lit up some of these eyeballs and there's still more to go whatever they might end up doing. We've got two small keys. We've got a surplus, surplus of keys building up here. Um, let's go ahead and fight off these guys. If you remember these guys from a link to the past, they kind of mimic your moves. Um, well, kind of like the opposite. So you, what we got to do is trick them into falling down here with us. And then the red ones shoot and are kind of more of a general pain in the butt. So we're going to use our bow. Um, you just kind of shoot and then move sideways so they'll kind of go down with you. Um, we got one more of these guys. Let's see if we can get him down here. Hi, buddy. They're kind of, I don't know what they're supposed to be. They kind of look like mice. Um, humanoid mice. But we got ourselves a shortcut now and a way to the upper level floors. So, win-win. I wish that was a halfway point, but it's kind of not. Um... I don't remember, but I feel like I get lost in this dungeon again, maybe, perhaps. Um, it's been a while since I recorded this, but I probably do. Anyways, um, nearing springtime, I cannot wait. This weather, I thought we were finally done with all this stupidity and all this snow. Um, we reached 70 degrees last week for a couple of days. It was really nice, and then it got really cold. And then um, last night, we had ourselves, well, all of yesterday was non-stop um, ice, just icing all day long. And I was late to work again because the roads were bad and they didn't plow it in my area. So it was just a general blast, just icy roads. It's March 3rd and still covered in ice. And uh, it took me 30 minutes to like defrost my car and get the ice off of it this morning. <clears throat> so, moral of the story is that uh, F winter. Winter is the worst thing ever created. <clears throat> I'm trying to see, I can't see at all what I need to be doing here. Just because I, well, just because I can't see. There's got to be a lantern somewhere here. Got this guy, this. I really just can't see what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, I guess I should maybe follow, nope, nothing there. I guess I should follow the lines that are on the ground, kind of moving. Um, you can actually sort of see it now if you're actually paying attention that there's like switches and stuff at the end of uh, these paths. This is really, I can imagine somebody having a seizure if they <clears throat> were prone to them because of this. Um, epileptic maybe because this lighting just kind of like moves weirdly so uh let's see if there's a light somewhere oh, off the cliff again <clears throat> i'm doing a great job as you can tell hey there's a light i don't understand why they have those uh, magic potion things oh there's a switch there's a switch it's so much easier to see now in the light um I don't know why they have those magic um, refilling items when there's already so many. Um, well, your energy refills really quickly. That's my point. I don't understand why they need to give you an item that does it. There's, I can't think of any time in this game where it's like essential that you are refill it that quickly. But we already got the big key, so we're making progress. Now, if only we can find our way to get into that chamber. We need to somehow lift these out of the way, move them 
out of the way. What we need to do is shine some light on a couple more eyeballs. We got two out of four. Let's go ahead and go this way. We haven't been here yet. And what the hell is this? Uh, this is one of those rooms that's when you are in darkness, you can see. So it's kind of a going back and forth ordeal. It's really interesting. This guy is above me, but he can still shoot fire at me. So it's a dick move. Um, so what I need to do is let's light. I want to get rid of this guy. I'm trying to remember, I didn't look before I uh, lit that to see. There it is. Okay. What we need to do, which this guy would just fall off. Hey, buddy. Stunning him enough. <clears throat> what we can do. It's kind of hard to see here, but um, you can actually just. I'm doing a great job in this dungeon. Yeah, and it's so much uh, easier looking back now and be like, oh. Crack in the wall. Another crack in the wall. It's so much easier to see it when uh, when you're not actually recording. Now that I'm just watching myself play, I'm just like, duh. That was really smart of me. I can't believe it took me that long to do something so simple. You know, this guy here, he's gonna try and kill me. Now I'm blinking. Got one heart left. Getting dangerously close to dying to all these fire guys. Oh, just try to kill myself. Now that thing is somehow above me. That heart just kind of is stuck on nothing, but it won't let me grab it. So I'm gonna keep working our way through. Oh, look at that key! And there's more fire down that way. I'm not sure if I press the button. It's too dark to really tell if I press the button. Oh, I got lasered. Sucks. Fairy. Thankfully, always carry a fairy with you. So when you're playing like an idiot, you can get back up and keep recording for everybody on YouTube, all 150 people that might watch this. So anyways, um, small key, and we're back in business. So let's try and get out of this room. I'm not really sure where this key goes. It might be somewhere in here. It might be somewhere not. Um, oh, apparently I just went into a room, and there's that like kind of emblem of the boss again above the door. Let's kill these ghosts. They kind of remind me of the ghosts. I don't know if anybody's going to know what I'm talking about, but Super Mario Land has six golden coins. In the graveyard level, these ghosts look exactly like them. Um, and nobody knows what I'm talking about. <clears throat> that was a fantastic game at the time when it came out. Here we go. Like this. Now this is where we can go with a small key. Work our way up to a higher level and we'll be all set. Let's see. Um, we got light shining down again, so let's uh, see if there's something we can do in this room, though. Oh, that's peculiar. Okay, so what we're going to do is bomb this and then hug on it. And that will hopefully flip us over. There we go. There we go. Let's kill this thing, get revenge. Bomb that. Smack that. Okay, we don't need to go back that way. Not really sure what's down there. We're going to ignore it for now. I am out of magic. There we go. <clears throat> Waiting for it to refill a little bit since I'm running out. Alright, see? Your magic refills so quickly in this game. And that guy's going to hit me. I'm getting really irritated with these guys. Bye, bud. Alright, let's bomb that. And let's go ahead and assume that... We are all set. I don't really know what's down either of those. I, I'll figure it out here momentarily. I'm going to just explore the rest of the room for now. And um, got ourselves a pretty basic nothing here. Oh, room's going away. And I did not hit the switch. And I'm stuck. And I'm going to die. Let's see if I can quickly run all the way back across. Ha. Nope. Well, they got me. I tried to out trick him, but wasn't not in the plans today. So I'm gonna have to go back into this room. Somebody's gonna go in there, do some maintenance work, fix the bridge, and now we're all set again. So let's go ahead and pick this up, toss it up, and there we go. Much better this time. And uh, yeah, now we're stuck in another dark room with absolutely nothing going on. I kind of feel like I'm rambling. I'm um, not really sure how I'm coming across, but it might be rambling just a tiny bit. Eh, oh well. Um, I don't know if you guys heard it, but this guy, his name was Eugene. 
classic name. If you ever have a name of Eugene, you may as well just uh, I'll just give up. It's a terrible name. I'm probably I'm gonna lose all one of my subscribers with the name of Eugene now. Um, but this guy named Eugene down in Texas was dating this trashy girl. Um, I think her name was Caddy or Katie or something like that. Dating this trashy girl named Caddy, and she was uh, dating or she had this ex who was a psychopath. Anyways, Eugene and her got into some little tiffy fit about God knows what, and then she invited her ex-boyfriend over at the dick move right there. Um, then that guy, being a macho Texan, decided he was going to try and attack Eugene, so Eugene used his um, replica master sword. Um, he used a master sword replica to uh, defend himself, and um, the ex-boyfriend got stabbed in the chest, and I think arm or leg or something. And then Eugene took a flower pot to the head, so lose, lose. Don't date trashy girls, and don't uh, stab people with master swords. Um, yeah, it's kind of a funny little story. Uh, I wish I could see what the hell was happening. Um, but yeah, that was in the news today. So it's kind of funny that they actually put that in the news and actually focus on the fact that it was a Zelda sword. The news article wasn't like, oh, guys stabbed with sword or guys stabbed with replica sword. They made a point of actually saying guy was stabbed with master sword replica, which I thought was really funny. Um, <clears throat> that's today in the news. If you haven't checked it out, go to HiddenTriforce.com and take a look. Pretty funny. Um, so anyways, there's that guy again. We got some light shining. Now we got to figure out what to do with both of them. And we're going to get kind of uh, lost here, I believe, probably, knowing me. And we're really, really close to being done with this dungeon. Thankfully, where we can actually go and fight this... Well, actually, I think this boss fight's really cool, to be honest. So, another one of these rooms. They're going to mix it up on us or something. It's like this. Smack that. It's going to open this for some reason where I just came from. Okay, that did nothing. That was a really pointless room. And we're back here again. So, let's just drop. I don't think I've done this yet. Um, what is this? Okay, another hole in the ground. We're just trying to get this light or whatever where it needs to be. And I guess this might be taking us to it. Or these holes will somehow connect at some point. Not really sure quite yet. Um, just keeps taking me into internal darkness. I don't know if you guys have ever played that game on the GameCube. But it was really weird but popular for the time. It's kind of one of those games that like kind of got forgotten and nobody really paid attention to it. Um, it's one of the few M-rated games on the GameCube. So definitely take a look if you are bored and want to get your old GameCube out and have a fun game. Eternal Darkness. <clears throat> I believe that's the name of the game. I might just be talking incredibly stupid right now. But I don't think so. Anyways, back here. Some more mice. Of mice and men. And two down. One fire mouse to go. It's a weird concept. Whoever designs these, I wonder what the creation or the inspiration of these guys was. I need magic. There we go. And that is a shortcut. I guess that's a shortcut. Not really sure what this is yet. Oh, I'm underneath stuff now. Yep, I guess that's, I don't really know where that took me. I can't see a damn thing. Um. Monster Tail, it's a bit smelly. Fantastic. I wonder who wrote that description. That guy's a genius. Did I really just go into a room and get myself a shortcut to a Monster Tail? Because that would be really dumb. Um, hopefully there's something more that will come from that. Otherwise, that was a total waste of time. And I can't get there yet. Let's try and cross the bridge without falling down in the dark. And go this way. Get killed by a six golden coins ghost. Oh boy. Um, if you guys have not, you should sign up for the Hidden Triforce monthly email newsletter. You can go to hiddentriforce.com and it is right there on the side. Um, we're sending out our first, uh, I guess, issue today. This issue might be the best thing to call it. 
Um, or you can also go to facebook.com slash the hidden triforce and there is an app installed where you can sign up for it. You do have to confirm your email to do it, but um, we'll be sending out cool little, uh, just like featured things from that month, highlights, um, discounts on items that we're putting out for sale here soon. We got a t-shirt up for sale at the moment. More items are going to be coming to our shop here soon and just stuff like that. Um, so you guys should definitely sign up. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, wish I could see where I was. I think I've been in this room before. I'm not really sure. Yep, sure have. So we got one more major thing left to do, and we just got to find a way to get the light shining down on. There's last couple of eyeballs down that boss chamber room. So we're going to head, um, well, I'm not quite sure where to go, so it's kind of going to be guess and check. Let's uh, pop this bomb out really quickly and wall hug our way to safety. Um, <coughs> I have a general idea of where to go, but this is my first time through. Again, this was kind of like a blind let's play. So kind of surprised I'm doing this well half the time. Um, so I just need to find my way around. Here it is. There's that and there's that one. Um, I'm going to try a couple of things first. And it's kind of funny that I'm even trying this. Um, looking back where I was like, oh, I know what I need to do. I need to throw a bomb up. Just throw a bomb up. Um, it's just kind of stupid. How I even, for some reason, decided to try that other method when... Earlier in this game, in this episode, I just had to throw a bomb up. Kind of silly. Really silly. Just stupid of me, honestly. Um, let's get some more light in this room since I just put it out. Smacking fire with a sword puts it out, apparently. It's kind of a dumb thing. Um, let's head this way. And there's one. Oh, damn it. I was trying to be quicker than the tile. It's just not possible. The tile is quicker than the link. And we're back in this room. I feel like I've been in this room a billion times already. So let's go ahead and redo this monotonous task. Cool puzzle at first. Boring puzzle now. Um, but we're really close to the boss fight. The boss fight, this is one of my favorites in the game. He's a lot of fun. Uh, he's not necessarily hard or even um, any remotely challenging um doesn't take any puzzle solving skills, nothing, but he is, um, I think, a lot of fun just to fight. And he kind of reminds me, he's very reminiscent of a, of in a Link to the Past boss, which is uh, fun as well, except the Link to the Past version was the devil and a lot more challenging. So we got this going on, and cool, that's all of them. So now uh, we have all these um, lights all set, and we can go ahead and go into the boss chamber. Um, here we go. Get ready for an epic boss fight up against, I believe it's like, oh, it's dark. Creepy. Just put bombs down. Let's actually try and see if I can find some light somewhere in this room. Light. Light, light. I just cannot see. There's gotta be a lantern somewhere in this room. Oh, there's one. Let's get rid of that. But well, apparently I didn't see that. I guess it's easier to see it on a big screen monitor that I'm editing on versus a tiny 3DS screen that uh, I was using. But this is just ridiculous. Hey, there it is. Do you see it yet, Noah? There we go. Good boy. That was stupid. Um, so let's just go ahead and light this up with a lamp so I don't end up using my heart by hitting myself. This guy, I believe his name is Jimasaur. He's like the Helmosaur King from A Link to the Past in the first dungeon in the Dark World. Um, this guy is very, very simple. Uh, but he's also a ton of fun. But we're going to use bombs. He runs around like a madman. He doesn't sit still and swing his evil tail like the guy did in A Link to the Past. Um, but he still is ferocious. But our shield will block most of his attacks. Um, and you just have to blow the rupees off of him. You're going to get a ton of money from this boss fight if you do it right. Um, I'm kind of skipping a bunch. Every now and then he fires, I guess, rupee rock, rupee propel, I don't know what the hell, rupee shards, slash crystal shards at you, and you just block him with your shield. Um, again, your shield will block most of his attacks in this boss fight, so he's not challenging at all, but he is definitely, um, entertaining. Um, I think he's more entertaining just because of the fact you got rupees falling everywhere. It kind of reminds me of, uh, the Four Swords Adventures games. 
um, with all the like little force gems flying everywhere. So let's see if I can get a bomb on him. He's gonna trample me to death instead. <laughs> yeah, as you can tell, this isn't all that challenging. Um, and there's hearts lined around the room if you happen to need help. But, oh, got him in the mask. Can't hit him in the butt or just bounces off of him. And he's, he's a little bit quick, but not too quick where it's going to be too much of a problem to actually hurt this guy. And then he always gets stunned after you hit him. So you can just quickly pull out another bomb and then smack him again. Um, whichever method you prefer. There's a lot of easy ways to beating this guy. Running out of magic. Come on, dude. And okay. So after several hits, I don't know if that was like 10 bombs or what. His ruby mask will be destroyed, and now you've got to just smack his his head a couple of times. He's got that blatantly obvious red spot on his head, this big pimple, and you just smack it, and then he gets all freaked out. And he cries. He's got evil eyes, the e most evil of eyes. And that's how you know where he's at. Oh, he goes like demon rage. You see this? He is fast. Um, but he does not like the light, so just light it back up, kind of like the um, link to the past uh, Ganon boss fight when you gotta get past his Shades of Darkness technique on guard. And yeah, it doesn't take much at all to beat this guy. Um, he's gonna rampage around maybe another time. We can just go into the walls and let him be a little crazy psychopath. Someone needs to get him in a straitjacket. And go to town on him. Squadala! Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy, just say it. But yeah, that's the end of the Dark Palace. We're gonna free another sage, um, rack ourselves up with some excellent likes and comments. I know you guys are gonna comment. If you make it this far in my video, uh, leave me a comment saying easy peasy lemon squeezy. Otherwise, I'll know you did not watch the entire thing. So any other comment besides easy peasy lemon squeezy is unacceptable. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video and have a great one, everybody. Bye.